And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Boston exclusive Nike Off-White Air Force One in the University Gold colorway. Can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've probably been saying this quite a lot recently, but this is probably one of my biggest comparisons I've ever done. And that's all thanks to you guys for tuning in, watching every single video. So thank you for that. And because of you, I'm able to do comparisons as big as this one. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video, this shoe is a big one. It's the Boston exclusive Nike Off-White Air Force One in the University Gold colorway or ICA as people know it. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you the differences between a fake pair and a retail pair, and what to look out for if you actually are spending the money on the retail pair. Retail one actually purchased from the resale market, but it has come pretty much directly from sneakers. It's from a well-known seller, came with the receipt and everything like that, so I know it's 100% authentic. And I've also legit checked it myself and put it through the legit mark platform. And speaking of which, they are the sponsors of today's video. So Legitmark is the safest and most secure place to get your sneakers authenticated and if you're spending this amount of money on a pair of shoes, you're going to want to make sure they are real. So there'll be a link in the description if you want to check them out. But yeah, here we go, I'm going to get into this video. So the first thing to note is looking directly down at the boxes themselves and I'll give you a close up of this. And in studio lighting you can see a clear difference between the retail and the fake one and you can see the clear difference in the colour itself. So the fake one is a little bit of a kind of more bluey white box compared to the retail one which gives off that almost practically all white box which is a little bit of cream but you can see there's a clear color difference however this is pretty hard to explain when they're both pretty much white boxes. What I would say is the Nike Air Force logo on the top of the box stands out a lot more prominently on the retail box compared to the fake one. If we spin the shoe around to the side and take a look at the box label you can see they both have the US price on it. That is because this is a Boston exclusive shoe, so they should always have the US price unless they get re-released in another country. So in terms of the label itself, if you, as you can see from the close-up, these are both a UK size 8. However, there are differences in the tag itself. If you look at the QR code on the right-hand side, you can see differences in sizing here compared to retail to fake. Also, at the Air Force 107 Off-White, you can see differences in the actual font size and text pretty much all over the sticker label. On the retail one, it's much smaller font size and a much crispier text compared to the fake one, which is a much thicker text on the sticker label itself. But that's pretty much it for the boxes, and I don't really want to talk about the boxes for too much longer because I want to get into the shoes because these ones are crazy. So we're going to open up the fake one first. Wow, that's crazy. It actually comes with the off-white receipt. So they've clearly made up this off-white receipt. It doesn't have my name on it. It says another name, which I probably can't pronounce, but there you go. But it does have the direct receipt, which is pretty much replicating that of the off-white one and has the retail price of 162 euros. So that's pretty worrying to see that they're actually doing that. Move that to the side and we'll open up the retail one. So a clear difference straight away, and it's pretty common from retail to fake, is the retail one has been covered by the paper, whereas the fake one, the paper lies flat on the bottom of the box. This is pretty much a telltale sign. If it's come directly from the store, it normally has the shoes wrapped in the paper, whereas fake ones, when they come directly shipped, they don't have the paper wrapped around. But if you're buying from someone else, this is not something to go by. So we'll open up the retail one here. And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Boston exclusive Nike Off-White Air Force One in the University Gold colorway. Can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? Well, obviously, because I've just shown you in the video, but that's pretty much for the intro. What I have noticed as packing up the boxes, it does come with an actual off-white return slip, which is pretty crazy to see that come on a fake as well. So here are the two pairs, and now we're breaking down the differences between the retail one and the fake one. So as you can obviously tell straight away from me holding them in my hand, this is the left shoe, the retail one's in my right hand, and the fake one is here. So as we can see, the fake one has a tag attached to the left shoe, whereas on the retail pair, the off-white tag should always be attached to the right shoe. So that's a clear difference that fakes clearly haven't recognized straight away. But on the retail one, 
the tag should be attached to the right shoe, so do look out for that. So another difference that I have noticed straight away, well, these are both dead stock pairs, size UK8, so they're exactly the same, should be very little difference at all, but when they come dead stock, on the retail one, they are laced all the way to the top through the top lace, whereas on the fake one, they haven't laced it through that top hole, so that is a clear difference to note, and something to look out for if your pair is dead stock. If it's been worn, this is obviously not something you should look for, but straight away, dead stock, that is something that's noticeably different. So another difference to note is actually the colour of the shoe itself, and I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera, but you can see it in studio lighting. The top one, which is the retail one here, is a slightly more yellowy orange compared to the fake one, which is that more bright orange. So it is actually a lighter colour on the retail one compared to the fake. However, this is really hard to tell and it would only be noticeable if you have them side by side. Taking a look from above, and I'll give you a close-up of this, of both toe box areas, you can see difference here in shape as well. The retail one, the toe box area, is actually slightly longer than the fake one. The fake one has a more chunky look to it compared to the retail one. Spinning the shoe upside down, and taking a look at the tread on the bottom. Once again, you can see color differences here. The tread itself is exactly the same. The fake one, like the upper, is a slightly more darker orange color compared to the retail one. Looking at the inside of the shoe and the off-white text, Obviously, these shoes are the same size, so the text should be pretty much identical in placement and in sizing, but as we can see here from the close-up, they aren't exactly the same. So as you can see from the C1982 and the Beaverton above, you can see that the size differencing is very clear to see. On the retail one, the text is much larger than the fake one. The fake one looks a little bit cramped together and a little bit wonky compared to the retail one, which is cleanly printed and very large, and the spacing between each letter and the words itself is very equal. Spinning the shoe around to the back, I thought I actually would see some difference in between the stitching on the back heel tab here. However, the fake one's done a very good job of this. They're pretty much exactly the same. The stitching is well evenly placed on both shoes, so not really too much to look for on the heel of the shoe when comparing the retail to the fake. On the outer side of the shoe, it does have an orange off-white tab just below the swoosh, and there is a difference here between retail and fake. So if I give you a close-up of this, you can see on the retail one, you can see that the corner edges are very sharp, whereas on the fake one, you can see the corner edges are slightly curved. So there's a clear difference between the retail and fake with the actual shape of the orange tab attached to the swoosh. One of the key flaws on the MCA blue colorway of these was the actual swoosh texture from the retail to the fake. I remember the retail one was always more slightly crinkled than the fake one was, but from first glance, they are very similar indeed. What I would say is the retail one is slightly more like shimmery and glossy compared to the fake one, but that's pretty hard to see and only can really be seen when they're side by side and very close up. From a distance, you would not be able to tell. So on this Nike off-white shoe, the hanging tag is actually a felt-like material. However, it's only felt-like material from this top larger section here, whereas the rest of the tag is that plastic orange color. Whereas if you look at the fake one and compare it to the retail one, you can see the retail one, the felt material cuts off immediately after the large section of the tag, whereas on the fake one, the felt material continues all the way down the midsection of the tag. So there is a difference here. It's just much more cleanly done on the retail pair compared to the fake one. Another thing to note is on the actual outer side of the sole and at the air text itself. Although the placement on the fake one is really, really good, the text size is exactly the same. What is noticeable is the actual quality of the print itself. On the fake one, you can see it has pretty much a few smudges on it, whereas on the retail one, you can see it's very bold and cleanly done. I know this will wear off in time, but just out dead stock straight away, you can see a clear difference between the two. So what the fakes have got right is on the right shoe, they do actually come with spare black laces, and they've got the bag absolutely spot on, as well as the lace color itself. There literally is no difference at all between the two spare laces, so they have got that absolute spot on. So don't really look at that if you are comparing a retail to the fake. When taking a close look at the laces on both shoes, you can see it has the off-white branding on the edge of the laces where it says shoelaces. It has this on pretty much all of the off-white collaborations with Nike, and you can see differences here between the fake and the retail. The fake one, you can see the shoelaces is printed much thicker on the fake shoe compared to the retail one, where the font size is much more slim and more cleanly printed on the retail pair. So as you can tell from this video, the fake ones have done a very good job at replicating the retail ones. However, there are still a few signs to look for if you are trying to legit check and trying to get a retail pair. But they are incredibly close, so do be careful and check out Legitmark if you have any pairs that you would like to get authenticated to make sure you're getting the real deal. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
I hope the pairs just keep getting crazier and crazier because I'm really enjoying doing comparisons just like this and I hope you are enjoying watching them too. Leave a comment, like, do all that. I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. Wow, can't speak, I've run out of words. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.